Hey guys, welcome back. Monolith has yet again graced us with another cutscene snippet on Twitter. Even though this clip is pretty short, it actually gives us a very good idea of the timeline of events leading up to this point. Just like I did for the Ethel cutscene, I'll show you the clip and we'll talk about it. I also have the translations on screen so you can follow along. <laughs> So, there's a few things I want to point out before getting into the meat of the analysis. This seems to be one of the lesser cutscenes that we typically see in Xenoblade games. What I mean by that is best shown by example. In previous games, there are these cutscenes that have much less movement and have repeating idle animations on the characters compared to the more action-oriented ones with unique movement. This obviously saves time during development, but the end result is that sometimes these cutscenes can look a little janky and out of place. This cutscene, however, seems to be a very nice evolution of the concept. Not every character is going through an idle animation here, and there are some interesting camera angles to spice things up. Overall, we've seen the production value for the series goes up as it grows and evolves, and this is just another example how all of it is culminating in this game. I just thought it was a really cool thing to point out. Anyway, I'll move on. For those of you unaware, we've learned in prior analysis that Assurd was previously Tyon's mentor. Assurd is the most talented tactician in Agnes, and Tyon has probably learned all that he knows from Assurd, so that makes this confrontation all the more dramatic. Based on how Tyon is talking, it seems like the party has been ambushed by Agnes, and indeed, we can see that an Agnes drone called an Avis is standing behind them. In this shot, we also see Agnes soldiers with their weapons drawn. To get more context, we have to look at the other snippets of this cutscene that we've been given in previous trailers. Here we can see Colony Lambdas coming out of the waterfall, which we now know is Great Cot Falls itself, or just located in the area by that name. While this is happening, Tyon even says the line, Did they order you to destroy Ouroboros too? Which is something that he says in this new scene. After Colony Lambda stops moving, Assert exits this door and presumably what we've seen in this new clip plays out. After all of that though, this part where we see Uni save Tyon happens next. It looks like the conversation gets heated and Assert attacks the party, but Tyon, possibly in a state of disbelief, doesn't realize it until Uni tackles him to the ground. Next, Noah and friends fight against the colony in this cutscene, which presumably leads into a battle. It could also take place after the fight as well. I think it's safe to say that we've pretty much assembled most of this cutscene, or at the very least, we know the basics of what's going to happen in it. All of that is pretty cool, but there's one more thing to talk about. Uni is shown thinking back to when she fused with Tyon. She's remembering that she saw one of Tyon's memories of Assurd in the Mindscape area. This means, at the time of this cutscene, Ouroboros has been unlocked for Noah and Mio, and Uni and Tyon. I'm sure that Lons and Senna probably have it too, but I can't say with 100% certainty because we don't know when their cutscene plays out. Noah and Mio definitely have theirs because they're the first ones to do so in the cutscene with the Wild Ride monster. If you really think about it, this means that this cutscene is likely one of the furthest story beats we see in trailers. Like I said before, it is a short clip, so we don't get a ton of new info, but what we do get is more context to the plot at large. But anyway, that's going to be it for today, guys. If you liked the video, be sure to let me know, and subscribe to the channel for more Xenoblade 3 updates and Xeno content in general. Special thanks to my channel members for their continued support, and super special thanks to to play who's a legendary Blade member. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!